In this video, we're going to see how to pick random winners in Excel. So let's say we have a giveaway or a raffle and we'd like to pick random winners from a list of names. We'll start with the case where we'll pick only a single winner and then we'll see how to pick five random winners, for example, and you can apply that to more or less. So, so three random winners or 10 random winners. And of course, with no repetition so that there wouldn't be two prizes won by a single winner or we wouldn't have one winner repeat in the list of winners. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So we'll start by picking a single winner. So here we have a list of 50 names, as you can see here, and we'd like to pick a random winner from this list of people. So we'll pick only a single winner. And in this case, we can use the index function. And with the index function, we're going to give it the array that we're going to pick our winner from. So this is basically the table where we would like to extract our value from. And if you don't understand the index function, I do have a video about the index function. So I'll leave you the link down below in the description. And then for the row number, the row number is the row where we're going to pick our winner from. And this should be completely random. And for that, we're going to use the rand between function because the rand between function can give us a random integer between an upper limit and a lower limit. So between two numbers. So in this case, because we have 50 people, so we'd like to get a random number between one and 50. But if you have more than 50 people, then you can change that. Of course, if you have 100 people, then you can put the upper limit as 100. Or you can also use the count a function like this to count the number of people on your list. So this is also an option if you'd like to do it. And then the column number is going to be a one. So we can either put it or even if we leave it empty, Excel will assume that it is a one. And then we're going to close our bracket and press enter. And as you can see here, we get a random winner and this can even update if you recalculate your sheet. So if you go to formulas and then here you click on calculate now or press F9 on your keyboard, you'll see here that this random winner updates. So if you'd like to fix it and make it not update because you've picked the winner already, then you need to copy and paste values. So you can press control and C here and then uh, you can right click and click on values here. And this will just fix your value here. This will remove the formula and just keep the value. So this is how you can pick a single winner. All right, so now we're gonna show how to pick multiple winners randomly. So here we have a list of 50 people and we'd like to randomly pick five winners for five prizes so that we wouldn't have a winner win multiple prizes. So there wouldn't be a duplication on the names here on the list of winners. So we're gonna start with a formula that works only in Excel 365 or Excel for Office 365. And this is an easier formula. So to do that, we're going to use the sort by function and the sort by function simply sorts an array by another array. And I've explained that function in detail in another video on my channel. So I'll leave you the link for that video down below in the description on that video. I explained the sort by function. I also compare it to the sort function in Excel. So for this, we're going to sort the array of names. We're going to sort it by using another random array. So we're going to create a random array using the rand array function. So the rand array function can create you a random array that spans a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. In this case, the random array we're going to create is going to be 50 rows and one column. So it's going to be a list of 50 rows and this list is going to be a list that contains random numbers between zero and one because these are the default settings on the render array function of course you can control these settings if you change the rest of the inputs but in this case we want them to be decimal numbers so we're just going to close the bracket here on the render array function and we're going to close the bracket on the sort by function as well and press enter and as you can see here we get our list of 50 names sorted randomly and if you do anything in your spreadsheet so type in another cell or 
press F9 to recalculate or write another formula or do anything else, you can see here that the sorting of the names changes because they are sorted in a completely random fashion. All right, so we have our list of 50 names here sorted randomly. And then what we can do is that we can nest that inside the take function. So we're going to put this whole sort by formula inside the take function. We're going to give it to the take function as the first input. And then we're just going to pick the top five rows from that list. So if you put a positive five, it's going to be the top five rows. If we put a negative five, then it's going to be the bottom five rows. So if we select the top five or the bottom five, it doesn't matter because the list is sorted randomly anyways. So we're just going to close the bracket and press enter. And as you can see here, we've got the top five names here of the randomly sorted array and of course these top five names might not be the same as the top five names that you saw when we had 50 names because when we add the take function then a recalculation happens on the random array and so the list of 50 names get shuffled again or sorted randomly again but in any ways you'll just get five names that are picked randomly from that list so to fix these five names because if you do anything in your spreadsheet as it told you they are going to change so to fix these five names what you need to do is to copy and paste values so control and c here to copy and then paste values as you can see here and now we have five names picked completely randomly all right guys so now let's see a formula that can work on all versions of excel so for this formula, we're going to start by assigning a random number to each of our list of names. So we can do that using the rand function. So this is going to give each name a random number between 0 and 1. It's going to be a decimal number between 0 and 1. So if we do that and we drag the formula down, you can see here that each name gets a random number and of course the rand function is a volatile function so if you do anything in your spreadsheet the numbers here the random numbers will update and then we can use the index function so we're going to index that array of names and uh, we're going to make sure to absolute here the reference for the array and then for the row number we're going to use the match function and we're going to match the first largest or second largest or so depending on the position here for the prize. So we're going to use the large function. The large function takes an array and gives us the first largest or second largest or third largest, etc., largest number of that array. So for the large function, we're going to give it the array of numbers here, and we're going to make sure to absolute that. And for the K, we're going to tell it to give us the first largest number by providing the number one here for the prize as you can see here this is prize number one and we're going to close the bracket here and then the lookup array so we're going to ask it to to look it up in the list of numbers as well and we're going to absolute that so this is what we're going to look up using the match function and then the match type is going to be an exact match and we're going to close the bracket here and then for the column number is going to be a one and we're going to close the bracket here and press enter. And now, as you can see here, we get the result here for the winner of the first prize. If we drag the formula down, we'll get the result for the rest of the winners. And as you can see here, this list is completely random. And if you press F9 or do anything in our spreadsheet, you can see that the names are going to update. But there are no duplicates on the names. There is no repetition. There is no single winner for multiple prizes as you can see here now if we need to fix that list of winners we can just highlight the names Control c to copy and right click and paste values as you can see here and now the list of winners is fixed and it will not change if we do anything it's just these random numbers are changing but the list of names here is fixed so as you can see here we managed to get multiple winners with no duplication so that there wouldn't be a winner winning multiple prizes and this is a solution that works on all versions of excel all right guys so this concludes our video today so if you have any questions about the formulas that we used in this video 
please make sure to leave them below in the comments and if you found the video helpful please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos and please make sure to follow us on our social media you find the links down below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video